Well, last month, the state released the MCAS results showing that student scores dipped in English language arts. What are these test scores telling us about the students learning since the start of the pandemic? Western Mass. reporter Krista Brunel is getting answers, speaking to school officials and reading specialists to find out how they hope to close learning gaps. The latest MCAS results show that student performance for English language arts scores declined across the board this year compared to the previous year. According to the Department of Secondary Education, ELA scores were down 5% in grades 3 through 8 and 6% amongst 10th graders. Desi's report also mentions that overall results when compared to pre-pandemic levels show a continued need for improvement. Western Mass News is getting answers from local school districts on what measures they are taking to address these areas that students are struggling with. Grades 3 to 5, scores have been affected, and when we think about the years of the pandemic and you know, kids learning to read and write um, either you know, from home when they were remote um, or just missing instruction because of being out. You know, our absentee rates as well as across the state in many districts um, last year and the year before were pretty high. We sat down with Christine Shea, the Director of Assessment and Accountability, and Susan Dargy, the Director of Curriculum at Westfield Public Schools. They shared the district's English language scores were similar to the statewide averages from this year's report. We had identified prior to the pandemic that English language arts was an area that we were working to improve and the resources that we had been using had been in place for a number of years. Dargy tells us the district has added extra professional development days with teachers to help solidify their skill set and has also worked on improving early literacy development with their students. One of the things that we felt needed to be improved were the materials that we were using. The materials um, in grades K to 5 had been put in place in 2012. She tells Western Mass News some of the changes that have been implemented to improve the ELA scores. At the secondary level, we have Study Sync is the curriculum resource that we use, and it is separated into units of study that have novels that can be integrated into those units. And Christine wants parents to know this. We also have assessments that we give several times a year to check on how kids are doing with progress. So if they're progressing, that's great. How can we continue to challenge them? And if they're struggling with something, how can we bring in those interventions to support them? Education advocates we spoke with are sounding the alarm, saying that numerous high school students in Western Massachusetts are reading at first grade levels. Not just Massachusetts, not just locally, but nationally, our, our literacy rates have been pretty stagnant for a long time. And we can see that sort of trickle out in a lot of areas. Ben Tobin is a longtime literacy specialist in Western Mass. He tells us he believes one of the reasons why reading scores have dropped concerns the foundation of how reading is taught. I end up seeing a lot of kids, especially older kids, who are missing a lot of foundational skills and having to teach a middle schooler their vowel sounds, for instance, or a high schooler um, how to do basic decoding, it, it's doable, but the science and the research shows us that the best time to do this is in kindergarten to second grade. And he is sharing tips for parents who may see students struggling with reading. It's helpful for teachers and parents, um, especially if their students are struggling, to you don't have to be a neuroscientist, but you should at least, you can go on YouTube and find a video and it shows how it works. Just have a basic understanding of how reading works. Because um, one of the sort of popular myths about reading is that there are lots of different ways of learning how to read and there are lots, lots of different learning styles. Reporting for Western Mass News, Kristen Burnell.